What's up guys, Papa, and uh, looking at the new revision 810 bios for the ASUS ROG uh, X370-F. Like I said, this is bios revision 810. Uh, you can see that's right up here. I'm going to try my, do my best to keep this in focus. Okay, so this is at 3.8 gigahertz and the memory is at 2933 um, my memory is 3000 so what I did over here is uh, let's go back up to the top you want to set your overclock to manual um, set your memory frequency to 2933 put your CPU core ratio up to 38 which will put you at 3.8 gigahertz and just leave your DRAM timing uh, where it's at set your DRAM voltage to one point I set mine to 1.36 because uh, it's normally 1.35 I like to add a little bit for stability and I just left the CPU voltage at auto now here's where the new settings are over here in the advanced tab if you go down to AMD CBS you have your uh, core performance boost you can set that to disabled or auto your memory interleaving and it tells you the uh, you know what each one does controls the fabric level memory interleaving auto none channel die or socket the channel die and socket has requirements on memory populations and it will be ignored if the memory doesn't support the selected option. Uh, IO MMU, you can enable or disable that. Your global C state control, uh, this controls the IO based C state generation and DFC states. So, uh, and then you have your Zen common options. Now, uh, Let's see, you got uh, all kinds of crap in here. Now, here's uh, one of the big things. You, you can do the custom P states for your throttling now. And I actually have a warning disclaimer here that you have to accept before you can go into it. And then you can change your different uh, P state, your power states. So you can put it on like custom. And then how much voltage you want it to have at uh, the frequency. And then you can go on down and do that for uh, each core so right now I just have all that set to auto I'm just showing you guys the the different options uh, that are available now then you have your core thread enable enablement again you have to uh, agree to terms on this and the down core control you can have it set to auto or you can change it like if you wanted you know uh, never to down core then you put it on three plus three and it won't do it but uh, right now I just had that set to auto too and uh, I'm not for sure what the streaming stores control is actually but it says enable or disables the streaming stores functionality so not sure what that is all about but this is definitely different settings than what I did in my last overclock tutorial uh, your APU frequency is going to be at 100 megahertz so you're not overclocking anything else except for the processor which it, you know in my opinion is more stable than when you're overclocking and everything else so um, give these settings a try and let me know what your guys results are I just did some live benchmark testing with it and everything uh, benched really good and uh, seemed very stable so uh, it seems like this is uh, some pretty good settings if you just want to run at 3.8 gigahertz all the time on all 16 cores and it stays at 3.8 gigahertz uh, just go check out my uh, live overclock stream I just did it'll be like one of the uh, most recent videos on my channel and uh, you guys can see the scores in there if you're and that's with these settings that I have right here so okay that's about it guys uh, please do me a favor and uh, leave a like on the video and comment below with your results 
Um, if you guys aren't sure how to update your BIOS uh, on my live overclock video, I put a link in there on where to get them. Then you just come over to your tool setting in the BIOS. Um, you can, the easiest way to do it is to like put a folder named BIOS on your on the root of your C drive. So just go to C, make a BIOS folder, download those BIOS and uh, unzip them, put them inside of there, and then just go to the ASUS Easy Flash utility, and then via storage device. And uh, because the internet one doesn't usually pull up, and then you just go to your drive, and like this is my BIOS one on my C root drive, and this is you could see the BIOS the 810. It's a dot cap file, so that's how you update your BIOS, guys. All right. Well, like I said, please uh, leave a like on the video, comment below, and uh, appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.